Okay, so uh, we need to think about validation. Uh, validation is making sure that the in data input into your tables is correct uh, and is of what type for what you're looking for. Also, we look at if there are any requirements, so um, not leaving out specific uh, names. So, for example, if we look at the members table and we want to add a new member, we could type in um, a new member, so first name and last name, which is fine. Text fields, accepting text, which is great. We could put in a password, I'll well, just say password for example. But now if we come to member gender, really all we're going to want is either an M or an F for male or female. Okay, I suppose we could put male in like that, we could put female. There's also options to put any text in there we like. So we need to think about that and we need to um, sort that out at the design stage when we're doing our, our databases. So the first thing uh, that I'm going to look at is a thing called a presence check. Okay, so we want to check to see if the, there has been an input. So if you can see at the minute, I can, I can create this new member and this member doesn't have anything in there at all, which is not great. I can, I can add another member, I can just call it Neil. And then we go across and that has added another member. At the minute, the, there's not an auto number on our, um, our, on our member number. Um, so that's the reason why we've got some zeros on there. But we can rectify that in a minute. But um, let's just delete... Um, oh, excuse me. Let's just delete these um, uh, this field. Um, and we'll have a look at the... Um, look at the table and see what we can do to say, right, we definitely want to make sure that they input certain fields. So if we go to the design view and look, we see their member number is just a number. We want to change that to an auto number. Okay, so that gives that, that'd be up the top. So let's see. Ah, there it is down there. Not so the top's there in the middle, auto number. It's not alphabetical for some bizarre reason. Uh, we can't change the field type. Oh, all right, well, it's because it's in a relationship and we can't um, change that. Uh, but that's not the end of the world for what we uh, are looking at. So we want to say, well, we definitely want to have everyone has a first name and last name, I hope. Uh, um, so uh, unless we've renamed ourselves to um, one of these, uh, these pop stars. Um, so we need to make sure that we input a first name and last name. So there's a couple of ways of doing it. So what we can do, there is an option down here in the properties. Okay, and you've got here required. Okay, if you click required, yes. Yeah, that would now mean that member first name is required. It won't allow you to save that data until you enter a first name in there. So if we go to the, oh, save the table. If we go to the table now, um, put in there white, okay, go through all the others. Before it saves it, it asks us to enter a value in team members member first name field. So it's asking us to put something in there. It won't do anything until I put in Neil there. Now once I put Neil in there, that will now accept that and allow me to put in a second field. So that's one way of doing it. Okay, another way of doing it, so if we've got some validation on there, we can say what the surname we want to put in our surname. So we can leave required as no, but what we're going to do is we're going to put a thing called a validation rule in down here. And what we're going to say is we're going to say is not null. Okay, so what that is saying, if this is not null, I want you to do something. Okay, so we can put in some text in here to say, please enter a last name. So this way we get a nicer error message. Okay, so if I oh, save it, I keep forget to do that. Okay, it's just telling me that data integrity rules have changed and exist, existing data may not be valid for new rules. So I might have made some, um, some changes there. Because we've got no data in our, our tables, it doesn't make much of a difference. So I'm just say yes to that. So now I'm going to input a new person and we'll have, I don't know, we'll have Jason Smith. Oh, no, we, want a, we don't want to, we're not going to put a last name in here. Okay, and when we get to here, we now get a nicer um, error message. So we can say, put please enter a last name. So that's a nicer way of adding some validation for a thing called a presence check. 
you will get to, to do this in your assignments or in your exam you will be asked to perform validation on your on your tables okay a presence check is one of them and using the oh I've got into my last name won't let me carry on and using a oh Smith I was gonna say wasn't I and okay so using a go back to the design view oh the changes you requested the table were not successful because they were created duplicate value in the index ah here because we've got a zero there okay now hopefully now that will allow us to move on okay so yeah so using um, a presence check using the is not null is a lot nicer way of doing it so that's the way I would recommend doing it like I said you could do it that way and have required yes but when you do the is not null in the validation rule, you then have a um, an option to put some text in to say well, what has gone wrong, which is going to be a lot more um, helpful for a user. Okay, and that's what you've got to, to look out for. Okay, so I will stop this video now and then we will move on to the next one, which will be a length check.